Hi, I'm Linda Yarrow in the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health in the College of Human Ecology. And I went to Madison, Wisconsin. And one of the things I learned about, I'm used to things popping up, and didn't, was today's meat. And this is a back channel to your classroom. I'm going to move around a minute, so we'll get this on. Um, OK, I'll stay put, because I can't move away too far, because I've got to work the taps, so we'll just use this. Um, this is a back channel for discussion within the classroom. So I'm going to show you how it was used in some of my classes, and then also how easy it is to embed it. So uh, they bring um, all sorts of devices into my classroom, because we're looking things up um, during the lecture. I have them for an hour and 20 minutes twice a week. And so they've always got their devices with them. So with today's meet, uh, let me show you first what it looks like, and then I'll show you how to embed it in. So, why is this not bringing, okay, there we go. I, you need to create a page to put it in within your course because it's an embedded um, app. And this is what it looks like. And they just, to join, this shows um, the discussion from the oldest to the newest. So initially, there was a topic up here that said um, Lord of the Rings or Star Trek. And because I'm a big sci-fi fan, and that theme actually goes throughout my classes. And they got one point for just learning how to use today's me by telling me which one that they preferred. And so this is them just filling in um, so that they could see how today's me works. So this is an ongoing discussion, the oldest at the top. However, if you click on that, then you can see the latest discussion. And all they have to do is type in their nickname, and they get to join, because it's closed to only those who enter it from my um, course site. And so how I used it was um, my um, teaching assistant, Brittany, monitored the conversation during the class. So they could say, she said there were three points. I only caught two. Brittany could fill it in, or other students could fill it in. Um, or I could throw out a question and ask them to answer it in today's meet as we're going on instead of, of stopping and pausing for five minutes, you know, while they, they answered it. Um, or I could throw out a challenge to them and say, you know, somebody look this up, see what you find, and then they can post it back. They would answer each other, and then Brittany could answer them. Brittany sometimes would post some points that she knew they were going to struggle with a concept, so she would repeat it in the today's meet. And while we do have message board discussions where they, it's post a question and they can go in and ask a question, they much preferred to follow the conversation in this, partly because it was real time. And you can create it, and I'll show you when I set up one in just a second, to highlight the speakers by color so that if you want to see which students are, are repeating questions and answers and things like that. Whenever Brittany wasn't with me, then I would ask another student to monitor it for me and let me know if I needed to stop because sometimes they would say, can you back up and repeat that? Sometimes it would be, she's talking too fast again. And so Brittany would say, would you mind slowing it down a little bit? And that's OK, too. I was afraid they wouldn't raise their hands and ask questions in class if we had this. They still did. They used this things for like, would you repeat? Or I missed one of them. Did she answer that question yet type thing? But the, the more in-depth questions that they had, they were still raising their hand and answering them in class. And so how you embed it. Let me get logged in. This keyboard feels different, too. That's weird. So once I'm logged in, um, this is for the spring. Um, this is the one that I'm going to go ahead and show you um, how you would embed it. So that's what it looks like now. But in terms of the class itself, students aren't seeing that. It's 
So I've created my web page, and I've got there what needs the intro to it, but I need to get it embedded. So let me go back to, I think it was that one. Okay, there's my class that I created, Clinical One Spring 17. You go to Room Tools, and you click on the Embed. You click on Other, and this is all under their Frequently Asked Questions so that you can answer it. And there's the code that I want. I think I copied okay. Okay, so we'll go back here. And under HTML edit Editor. Okay, this is where I'm used to my Apple. Is it the right one that's a, the, bring up the copy and the pay? Oh, there we go, okay. Okay, but apparently it didn't copy. Let's go back and do that again. And there it is. So when they go into the class, all they have to do is click on that. They're going to create a nickname. They don't have to create an account unless they want to. They're going to click join, and then they can type in their message. And you can, um, it's limited to 140 characters, and this will follow in real time. It's shared by my campus and distance classes, so the distance students can see what the campus students are asking. Campus students can see what the distance students are asking. You can do a lot of things in terms of how you set it up. Um, so you can click here to add a room topic. So that's what I would, where I would put maybe a challenge question or choose between, you know, vote for Lord of the Rings versus Star Trek, and then you can erase it. Um, I can mute, and I can, so when I mute a student, if somebody plays, uh, makes a comment that's not appropriate, then nobody else is going to see it. I can kick them out of the room that if I want. There are other room tools, and you can do things like highlight them by color if you want, um, the dates. You can have a QR code that all they have to do is click on it. So it's got a variety of things. It's free to use for up to one month at a time for your classroom. So you can start a new classroom every month, archive the old one. They can go back and see the discussion at any time that they want. I pay $5 a month to have unlimited access for a year. And that way my classroom, um, the, the back channel stays open for the class the entire semester. So that if they want to go back and review comments related to particular topics, they can. And you know, it's $5 a month. So for me, it's worth it. But a lot of people that I talked to said, no, we just archive it every month and start a new classroom. I don't want to be responsible for remembering to do that and then have students um, emailing me. And, and I like the continuous nature of it. Um, so it's been fun to use. The students like it better than using the ask a question on the message board. Um, I know they're on Facebook and YouTube and stuff while they're in my class, but I also know they're on today's Meet because, and focusing on the class some because questions are showing up as we go through it. Yes. Well, the, um, on the ask a question, um, they're, not, they're not asking questions related to that content. It's more like, where can I find such and such, or how do I do such and such? With this one, they can say, she said there were five points as I'm lecturing, but I only caught four. They're not likely after class to go back and say on the message board, you said there were five and I only caught four. They do it while they're paying attention in the class and they're still interested. So it's those types of things. Or Brittany, because she's been with me quite a few years, will say, this, these details are important, pay attention, you know, so it can just prompt them to keep watching and stay more engaged with the lecture. Yeah, so it's more related to, or somebody might say, I, you know, she made this comment, but I still don't get it. And Brittany will say, will you back up and re-explain that? Because those are the things that when there's a class of 85 students, they're not likely to raise their hand and say, I didn't get it. You know, they're more likely to raise their hands for things they're understanding or partially understanding and want to know more about. Anything else? Okay, thank you.